Hey guys, let's get ready to start a new project. And this is gonna be another two-parter, I think, just because it's a little bit complex. And this first part has a lot to do with perspective. So let's talk about perspective really briefly. Perspective is, think about it as um, how something looks different when it's closer than it does when it's further away. Like things will look smaller from further away when you're looking at them head on. If you try to look at them through your hand, you'll see that they look really small. So our project has to do with one point perspective. And that means we're looking off into the distance at one point. And this point is called the vanishing point. So how are we gonna make a vanishing point? I will show you. You're gonna need a ruler, obviously, and I have here pretty much the, this is the biggest ruler I own, I think. So I've got a ruler and a pencil, and I've drawn this one line across my paper. I think you can still see it, even though it's just in pencil. Usually I try not to draw in pencil for this reason, because it doesn't always show up, but that shows up well enough. I think, I think you guys can see that. So I've got that one line, corner to corner. I'm going and I'm finding my other line. Oops. This is why we use pencil, folks. My hand slipped, huh? And uh, I almost messed that one up. So you can see I have two lines here. They're diagonal lines and they go across my paper. And my vanishing point is going to be right in the center of these two lines here. Right here. That's my vanishing point. Everything is going to be going from that point. So like I said, you definitely need a ruler for this project. I want to see nice, clean lines. We are basically going to be making a hallway for this project. And you'll see as it comes together, how this is actually going to look like a hallway. So we'll start with the floor, which will be the bottom triangle that we have here. So I'm gonna put this long ruler down and get my shorter ruler. There we go. Now I have my shorter ruler. And I'm taking my shorter ruler and I'm drawing lines inside this bottom section. And all of these lines are coming from that center vanishing point. This part is very important. All of the lines should come from the center vanishing point. When I'm drawing these lines at least. So there are some lines from the center vanishing point. What's next? We're going to make this look like a tiled floor. So I'm going across the paper and this might look strange at first, but it'll start to make sense. So I'm going straight across the paper. This is one of those projects where you're gonna to have to watch closely for what I'm doing and do the same. So it'll look really nice. I hope those lines are straight. I think they're not perfectly level on the paper, but that's okay. I can fix them up later if need be. So I've got these lines on my paper. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna put some lines across the side of my paper. Yeah. And it doesn't matter, I could do like three of them. One, I'm trying to make it so 
they're about the same on either side. And one way that we can do that is we can do these lines. We can make points right here where these lines intersect, where they cross the points here, here, and here. And we see right here, that's about the middle of this square. So listen closely. We're going from the middle of this square, and if we want to draw a line that's exactly the same, that's symmetrical on the other side, we're just traveling over and marking the line right here so that when we draw this line, it'll be the same. So we see here, we go on over, we go around to the middle of that spot. And then we go over here, around to the middle of that spot. And then if we draw, draw those lines up, we know they'll be basically around where these lines are, but on the other side of the paper. I hope that made some sense. This line intersects right in the middle of this line, so we're going to do it in the middle of that line. And we're just going up, straight up on the paper, straight as we can go. There's one, one line. and three. So there are those lines. What's next? Well, I'll tell you. We are just going to draw some like nice circular curves at the top. Oops. Again, this is why I drew in pencil. circular curves at the top. And then I think there's going to be one more thing that I do. I'm going to take this line here, this first line that we drew, and I'm going to draw another line that's very close to it that's still coming from that vanishing point. It's right around there. And why am I doing that? Well, You'll see. All right. So now we have these lines. What are we going to do next? Well, what I'd like to do next is get that all sharpied in so it looks really nice. I'm going to make a time lapse of myself doing that. And um, yeah, I know that I did this really fast, guys, but I really, really would like you to take your time when you're doing this so we can make sure that you have it right, okay? All right, bye-bye. Or not bye-bye, I'll be back. Hey guys, so this is me coloring in all my lines with Sharpie. You can see I'm still doing it with a ruler. And if you look closely later in the video, you'll see I'll, I'll fill out some places and make the lines thicker or thinner. Uh, I hope you can see this okay. I know it's a little bit difficult to see everything that's going on with me in front of it. Um, but with that, just take your time and uh, try to do the best you can and ask me questions if you have them. Okay guys, so I sharpened this all in. It's looking pretty cool. And you can see now that it's a hallway. I would hope that people can see now that it's a hallway. So. Actually, that's all I'm going to ask you to do this week because it did take me a little bit to make this nice and neat and I'm going to spend some time erasing my pencil lines. So that's what I want from you this week. I want you to do the Sharpie outlines of everything and make this hallway with the checkered floor and uh, do your best to make it nice and neat. As always, I like a nice, neat project. Um... And then next week, we're going to fill up these hallways with sea creatures. We're going to make an 
aquarium. So, you know, you'll be able to see the sea creatures all around. It's going to look really cool, and I'm excited. But, yeah, that's all I really need from you this week. Just this one-point perspective, looking out to the vanishing point. This is the vanishing point right here. And there you have it. That's, that's all I need. But I look forward to seeing your projects.